take back your dark thirst. And they took some of my damn money. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Alright. I'll take armor, sure. Five food, okay. Thanks, Doc. <gasps> more food. And I get more food from the armor of gluttony. Nice. Okay. Thanks, chat. And I got more food. Fucking loaded on food now. That's your mulberry in. You enter the mulberry in and find Father Galfrey in his usual place by the fireplace, whatever the fuck. You sit down across from him. For once, Father Galfrey is merely sitting and staring silently at his papers. The quill is stationary in his hand. Tomorrow evening, I may die. For the briefest moment of, if uh, for the briefest moment, fatigue crosses his face. Father Galfrey appears all at once, very old. I hope you will know who the assassin is before then. Um, well, why do you trust me? Father Godfrey looks at you sadly. Even if you were to steal the ring from my hand, you could never truly be a part of this guild. No, you don't have the heart for it. Uh, can I have some fucking money? I cannot. I'd have to rely on the guild's records. Father Godfrey's jowls quiver and shock at the suggestion. Okay, well that's fair. I'm gonna go on the job with Grindon. I've told Grindon to stake out the castle by more than I like, for any movement of out or in. The Lady of the Castle owes us a considerable debt. Okay. You know at the meeting point on your map and retire for the night. Thanks. This one. Can you claim Return this later. token? This one. <gasps> no. Not yet. Okay. Return later. We'll get that somehow eventually one day. General store. Okay, dog. What do you got? <gasps> this thing. But do I really want to... I mean, I still need a lot of gold still. Like, I need a lot of gold. So let's probably not do that. Let's sell equipment though. We have stuff we don't need. Let's not sell anything. Like, I can see the billy clubs are back. And that's cool. But we need to save money. We need 90 gold for the actual finish. Otherwise, we're not gonna make it. So we gotta be careful. We're good. I wish I could sell food, if anything. That'd be sweet. Wait, how much would I get for selling the thirst? 15? Well, if anything, I could just sell... the brigand's blades. Because I don't really need those anymore. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Please help! She cries. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything you can do? Sure, lady. Here we go. Not good enough. <laughs> yes. I need one thing. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> well, thank you. Now, if you would be so kind as to give me all of your gold. The woman draws a pair of concealed blades from a corset. Oh, Come on out, boys. Thank you, Jinzo. Three months. You have no time to react as a group of bandits spring from hiding. That's some bullshit. You know, that's some goddamn bullshit. <sighs> Whatever. I got my dark thirst. Look at this thing. This big burgurthy. Bound with great longing for the taste of corruption and blight. Well, we just got bandits today.
definitely hits pretty hard. But damn, is it slow. I'm doing it, Dad. Frick. Frick. These bloodborne looking motherfuckers. There we go. I've been streaming for a while. Yeah, three and a half hours so far. <sighs> With the thugs defeated, you search their bodies for valuables. Give me gold. Come on, video game. Thank you. You find some food. I don't want food. I want gold, dude. I got plenty of food. I don't need your food, man! Ugh. Video games. <gasps> Thanks, chat! Nice. With a shout, grin and signals your arrival at the castle by Moorhammer Lake. You find some long grass and settle down for the day. Despite being a stakeout, grin and happily talks quite loudly. You know, my sources tell me the lady inside wanted for treason. He suddenly pulls out a bit of charcoal and paper. Aren't you like my autograph? Yeah, sure. You allow him to scribble his name on a roll of paper. He tucks it lovingly in your hand. He trusts you a little more. Time passes, but nobody leaves or enters the modest castle. I say, who are you anyway? Grinnon retrieves a boiled sweet from a paper bag and pops it into his mouth. I've not seen you around here before. Um... I am, uh, a new recruit. Oh, really? I heard we didn't need any more recruits. That we're struggling to feed the mouths we have already. Grindon squints at you suspiciously, shrugging his head. Tell me, what do you do to get recruited? Ah. <sighs> Chat. Which one? I feel like I did the first one last time. I guess I think it's two. That's like all two. I don't see a single one for the first. Okay, there's one person who said the first, so it has to be two, right? I mean, come on. The gaudy thief blushes. Trust you a little more. Oh, I did do that one last time. I remember he did blush. I remember. A little else happens during the snake. You spend most of the time watching a dog sleep. Before you head your separate ways, you take a chance to question Grindon. Grindon is checking his appearance in the reflection of his blade. What do you think about Father Galfrey? Father Galfrey? A daughter ain't old foe. I'm surprised he hasn't already been replaced by a younger, more dashing guild member. He's gone soft in his old age. The other day, he let one of the rabble go free after they mucked up a job. No thumbs chopped off, nothing. Huh. Whatever is your favorite food? Ah, great question. It would be a sugar sponge swamp, no doubt. Okay, what about your family? I hate family when I have so many devoted followers on Instagram. Well, I used to be a famed actor, but that was a while ago. Bye. You wonder how much Grinnon told you today is a lie. Everything. The old maiden. Give me money, old maiden. No amount of gold will satisfy a mortal. But if that is what you wish. Her ancient voice falters from the words as if long unused. Thanks, lady. Hell yeah. Sick. You're gonna be streaming like 20. I gotta out brief then. I gotta out brief then off I go to battle my favorite traffic. Yes! Yes, I will be USA. You have a good time. 
I accept the eight gold for payment. The cartographer listens as you relate uh, what you can remember of the neighboring areas. Thanks. You spend several hours in his company until he is satisfied that you have nothing else to add. Well, we'll never get that thing. Bye. Whew. Here we go. Enter the inn. You find Father Galfrey at his usual place next to the fire. As you seat yourself opposite him, you notice he looks distinctly calm, despite the foretelling of his death tonight. You watch Borden, Rowena, and Grindon roaming about the tavern. If I didn't eliminate the assassin before they eliminate me, however, I cannot be responsible for what may happen if you accuse one of my silences wrongly. The red candle upon the fireplace burns tall. Alright. We'll approach Borden. I will bribe him. Wait. Borden is the one who drinks, right? Drink with him. Right? I think it was Borden. It was Borden. Borden looks happy that you offered. I'll have more berry wine then, if you're offering. That will set you in good stead. You need it all anyway? Oh, okay. Dragon Border pulls you close and whispers fearfully, Don't let her hear this, but the redhead is ruthless. She infiltrated the Third Legion as an Empire soldier for six months and killed the commander in cold blood. The red candle burns thaw. Alright, ten gold. Fuck, come on, baby. Are you fucking kidding me with this shit? Dude, do I gotta like spend more money? Why are you asking these questions? All right, okay. I still have I still have some money to work with. Come on. Okay, thank God. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's fine. You hand the money over. I'm not sure. Maybe it's Grindon. He talks a lot. Okay, twenty old. Keep repaying those things. Rowena has worked for many different uh, factions, I hear. Perhaps it would be easier for her to be disloyal to our guild. Huh, I see. I'll do something else. Wait, I already did board. Rowena. Okay. Dagger. Okay. Weird bit of information. Just surprisingly slow. It is surprisingly slow, actually. Back to the boat. I'm surprised I it's this slow. To be their master. Go. Fuck. Go. That's the 21, isn't it? Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough money now. Oh, fuck. Please tell me I'm gonna have enough. Come on, baby. Few bots don't chat much. Oh, shit. I guess so. All right, we got a lot that time. Victory, you are learning. I'm learning by rolling the bones. You're looking for the one with the gray eyes. So, they're saying the assassin is Grindon. Drink with I did not drink, it dulls the senses. Okay. And Grindon. Okay. Come on, Grindon. 
Be good to me. Be good to me. Fuck you. Come on, Grindon. Really? All of these? I don't trust anybody to be perfectly honest, except me, I'm the Bastion of Truth. Okay, he's pretty, pretty noticeable. You notice the red candle appears shorter. Worryingly, it seems to have taken very little time to burn down. Alright, 20 gold. Please, for the love of God! Come to think of it, the soothsayer here told me not to trust the color red. Rowan has red hair. Grindon claps his hand as if that settled the matter. I see. Notice that the red candle appears shorter. Drink. Takes the offer of a drink without hesitation. Okay, that's a that's huge. How would I possibly fuck that up? That is massive. Did you play this game previously? We, we did this run previously, however, we failed it because we didn't get all the clues last time. I didn't realize I needed all the clues for the full token. I mean, Borden is old, the real old. He's been here before I was born, I'm sure. He's probably trying to off the boss because he needs a change of pace. I would. While Strunk grinned and said he thinks that Assassin's born. As the red candle is burnt to a stump, it won't be long before it burns out completely. Hurry now. The moment is almost here. Make your decision. Okay, so, the assassin, it was Grindon, right? I'm pretty sure. Not like we told several times. Excuse me, I was trying to play this, like, blind and shit, homie. Shit, I'm fucking sorry. Was it Grindon or Borden? Was it Borden? It's changed now? Oh, it changes. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Assassin's RNG. That's actually really cool. I like that. So, let's review my clues. Okay. Looks like it's Grindon now. Okay. He said lies? <gasps> he lied? Alright, let's see. Let's see. We'll review what Galfrey said. Galfrey said that Borden has worked for him for a long time. So that Borden will spill more truth when drunk. Rowena has worked for him for a long time. Rowena was in the third legion of the Empire Army. And Rowena will always tell the truth for money. Galfrey said that Grindon has worked for him for a long time. Said that Grindon makes wild accusations when drunk. And that the assassin will always lie regardless of the personality. Gotcha. Borden said that he has a beautiful uh, wife. Borden jokingly said that Rowena was in the third legion of the Empire and killed her captain. Borden says that the assassin is Grindon. Borden said that Rowena has worked for many different factions. Rowena said that she was in the Seventh Legion of the Empire. That was a lie. Well, he said third at least. So one of them was lying. How about that? Rowena said that the assassin doesn't have a hidden wrist dagger. Rowena said that the assassin is Grindon. Grindon said that he used to be a famed actor. Grindon said not to trust anyone but him. Uh, said not to trust the color red. While Strunk Grindon said that he thinks the assassin's bored. It seems like it's... Huh. Alright, chat. Two, three, or four. Go for it. Two, three, or four. <laughs> God damn it, chat. Alright, it's looking like three, aka Rowena. Alright, well chat, I'm gonna have to trust you on this. Let's do it, chat. Rowena draws a pair of cruel daggers from her cloak, grinning menacingly. You think you can face me? You've uncovered the assassin! 
We're gonna rally some guild minions. Alright. Now we just gotta not fail. Chat has lied before. True, but that was a lot of people. Alright. Uh, let's see what we can do here. What a bitch. Her loyalty to gold is staunch and unwavering. Well, I wish I didn't have to fight them with this, but that's fine. Remember when I had billy clubs? I remember. Good times, really. I'm absolutely going to remove that freaking card that uh, made me lose my weapon, though. Hell no about that shit ever being back in my deck. What? Excuse me, I was dodging! Alright, Rowena. If- oh fuck. If that is your real name. I'm hitting pretty fucking hard. Alright, we got this. We got this. Apparently there was another guy. I think. Oh god. Dark Souls! Yay! I'll finish this off in an anticlimactic finish! Video game players! Finally! We'll never have to do that one again! As the violence subsides, you realize that Father Galfrey is sitting next to you, eyeing Rowena's body glibly. Such a shame. He looks up at you, not at balance accounts. You take every precaution. I hear we agree, Dad. Let me show you how to pick a fool with a heavy purse from a crowd. And then you, my friend. He takes a ring from his hand and places it on you. We'll never be wanting of gold. Thanks, Doc. Well, well. Your skills continue to improve. We'll make a master of you yet. Hell yeah. Thanks, video game. Light of truth. All right. I missed the dev. Yeah. Ah, well, it's all good. Finally got that one done, too. All right. Nice. Give me one second to look at something real quick. Hold on, chat. Gotta read some. Devil challenge unlocked? A devil challenge? I don't think so. I have death. That seems similar. All right. Let's uh, let's just go in order. So far though, let's do strength. Have you learned acting? What? Stealing half of an ancient relic from an ogre has left you dying and cursed. Gear up and claim the other half of Odysseus' charm. Grievous wounds. Start with 10 life. Eating food does not heal. Oh. A high defense will help reduce damage from the ogre's devastating onslaught. There be dice. Oh boy. Okay. Well, this seems interesting. Let's go, let's go nutso here and just grab everything that has a token. Everything with tokens. And that one too because I'm curious. I do want the Goblin Town, too. Fuck the tokens. Burning buildings still? No, we would lose health from that one. Deadly Force, we would lose a lot of health from that one. I do want to learn what some of these cards do still, so we will grab these, too. 
Fame and shame, fetid fans, one drunken night, scouting party. Not burning building though. Cartographer is fine. We still can try to get that, I guess. Uh, we do one more of these, I guess. Shrine, maybe? Yeah, we'll do shrine. And. Arm wrestling gives us a lot of gold. I mean, I guess gold's good, because I, I guess we know what every other card is. Do we need any other tokens back here? I don't think so. Hmm. Berta's Betting House was fun. We'll do that one. Alright, equipment. We can do a lot of stuff here. Archer's Bane. Don't know what that is. We'll put it in there. Uh, put that one in there, too. Any other question marks? Question mark, question mark. Always put in question marks, because then you can see new shit. <gasps> Not the platinum. Alright, let's get rid of Rathras. Wait, what? Alright, Gambler's Jewel is also really good. Okay. So, at that point, they said we really want armor. I don't really have any armor selected, to be honest. Um, shit. Okay. What's the highest armor we got? Just the armor of gluttony, huh? Hmm, okay. Well, we'll grab that one, and, uh... We're going against ogres? I guess Dark Thirst. Dark Thirst works out. We could start with... Would this work? Because we start with 10 health. No, nah, I thought that would actually work. Leather armor. Okay, we would want to start with armor. Soldier's sword. Hmm. Actually, can I look at this? What's the button? Why? 25 northerners. Now oh, we'll start with the Jeep, Zax. Fuck it. And... Potion. Yeah. That'll do. We'll be fine. Okay, when the car cries voice action will keep me from wanting to run everyone off the road. Alright. Here is our evidence of your eagerness to leap into difficulty. You cannot face. You must know yourself, hone yourself, sharpen your wits and your sword against the challenges ahead. Okay. Fuck. The bitter taste of blood is the first indicator that you're still alive. Blind and disoriented, you make out a voice calling to you. Wake up! The voice rings in your ears. Are you still with us? A pair of strong hands shake you upright. Your vision steadies and Colbjorn's somber face swims into view. Where? What happened? Colbjorn gestures you to shut the fuck up. He presses his back up against the boulder beside you and grimaces. Holding his side. As your head clears, a booming voice echoes out from the deep in the foggy marsh. Oh, where have you crawled, ghastly mice? Let your insides be gut and bones be crunched. You peer around the rock and from the mist steps an ogre. Three times as tall as a man and with a lump and vicious face. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> His one good eye darts about wildly as he surveys the area hunting for something. The ogre grunts and scoops up a are you serious chat? Chat, are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> 